What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ark Park for my Jurassic Park build. Excuse the color, I'm literally recording this the day after I went whale watching and I got some, uh, some basically some tanning in. But anyway, as I was saying, welcome back to the Ark Park and in today's video we're going to add in the the last few remaining creatures that are in Ark Survival Evolved. At least the vanilla game. I might make another separate video with the Ark Editions creatures, but let's just take a look real quick and see what we have for for creatures that we... Alright, so what we have left are Baryonyx, Cacarodontosaurus, Deinonychus, Dimetrodon, Spinosaurus, and Eutyrenus. I figured we would add in Deinonychus first. So what do we got here? Dreadnoughtus and Trudons? Yeah, that's what we got there. The hatchery's over there, so what I'm thinking is we could add in some more of these um, fences. And in case you guys are wondering about Little Nightmares, no, I haven't abandoned it. I'm just trying to figure out how to get past that um, first boss. I might watch a video on it after this recording's done, just so, you know, I have a general idea on what to do. I'll get through Little Nightmares. I feel like I'm committed to it now. Like, I have a commitment to make. So, yeah, so don't worry, I haven't abandoned Little Nightmares yet. And again, I will worry about amenities once I'm done recording. So we've only got like five or six left. So let's get ourselves a viewing dome. We'll put that right there. And then we'll get another dome on the other side. That makes it more convenient. There we go. All right. So what we need to do now is decorate the place. Now we're adding Valgiro's exclusive creature. Well, it's not really Valgiro's exclusive if you can find it on the Fjordr map now. Alright, let's get Deinonychus out. So, let's get our Valgiro creature. In order to tame these, you literally have to do what you do with wyverns and uh, steal their eggs and then hatch them as uh, babies and whatnot. So... Yeah. Alright, once they're done, we'll move on to the next enclosure. What am I going to put in exactly? Not sure. Maybe start on the swampy enclosures? And excuse the framiness. As more dinosaurs show up into the park, it's going to get framey. So, yeah. Expect that. So, alright, do we have any space here? So we'll have like a little swampy area that's just... You know, the Dimetrodon, the Spino, the Barry. We'll connect this to that. That'll be next door to that. We can go ahead and move this building to over here for now. And then we'll delete that path. So maybe have like the shrubbery go over the water as well. Yeah, make it look swampy. You know, that's that's the goal here. A swampy environment because the the Demetrodons in Ark prefer swampy areas. I mean they can live in the desert as well, but on the island there is no desert biome, so we'll just have to stick with the swamp for now. There we go. Alright, these should be relatively quick as well. Let's go ahead and give them some food. And then maybe we could put, like, Baryonyx and Spinosaurus on the other side. Yeah, we could do that. Alright, let's release Dimetrodon. Alright. We got that going. Alright, let's get the, uh, Baryonyx enclosure. There we go. Baryonyx is being hatched up. Let's hatch them up. We got a Grim, a Chaos, and that's it. Alright. Alright. We got the Baryonyx going in here. Let's see if we can put, like, another fish feeder of somewhere. We could put one here. And maybe one over here. There we go. Alright, let's get Baryonyx out. There 
There we go. There we go. We got the five Baryonyx walking around. You must be Chaos, right? I was gonna say, you dislike your own species? Wow. Okay. Alright, we got the Baryonyx enclosure done. Let's move on to the Spinosaurus enclosure. So Spinosaurus will obviously need like a, a concrete fence. There we go. Let's get some forest going, some vegetation, and some water. And maybe we should replace this with a concrete fence so then the Baryonyx can't see them. There we go. So now it's like blocked off. Oh, we should probably get it ready for the guests. So we'll put in a viewing gallery. Oh, apparently you can actually see the T-Rex from there. That's strange. Okay. Shouldn't be able to, but whatever. Alright, so we got that going. Let's get the viewing dome. Alright, I wanted to give it a very swampy enclosure so we'd have Spinosaurus. Okay, let's release the Spinos. Ooh, you kind of look like the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus. Is this the closest we'll... Well, obviously that needs a pattern, but... Obviously that would be... Alright, let's look at the other Spinosaurus. We'll release that. I love this new animation. Check this out. That is just an awesome animation. It really is. Ooh, I kind of like the purple sail. That looks nice. Ah, something's on low health. Alright. Take your guesses. Take your bets on what might be on low health. Let's see what it is. If you guessed Megalosaurus, you are right. And how did you get out? Um. How did this guy get out? Um. Okay, where's the... Where's the response facility? There it is. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna need you to go trank out this Megalosaurus right here. Alright, we gotta put the park build on hold because some dumb Megalosaurus decided to escape its enclosure somehow. Oh, there are two Megalosaurs out. Alright. Let's go ahead and put you back in your enclosure. That Megalosaurus is going to die. He's actually going to die. I should probably save him. This guy's healing now, so that's good. You know what? I'm just going to put, like, a paleo medical facility, like, in the area. That way we don't have to really worry about creatures being on low health because we'll have something that can heal them. And then if we ever have to use, like, them, we'll just put a, put a gate there. All right, anyway, back to what we were doing. So... We got Spinosaurus, we got Demetrodon, we got Deinonychus, we got Baryonyx. What's next? Okay, we, we only have Cocharodontosaurus and Eutyrenus to get through. So, let's get those done. So for Cocharodontosaurus, maybe we could put them next to Spinosaurus. Or across from it. Yeah, we'll put it across. So, we'll put this here. The Carcharodontosaurus was one of the more recently added creatures into the game. It was like one of the very last ones added in. Because it lost the vote twice. Once to the, um, to the, uh, Dinopithecus in the Lost Island map. And once to the, I think it was the Desmodus, the bat thing in Fjordr. Yeah, so... So they ended up putting it into the game. There we go. All right. And then for the final touch. There we go. Oh, and some viewing domes. We need viewing domes as well. Let's release the Karchas. Our second to last dinosaur for right now. I might make another video later on with the um, Arc Editions <laughs> creatures. If you want me to, that is. So, yeah. Alright, we'll put in Kakarodontosaurus here. 
And then while we wait, we could start working on the Eutyrenus enclosure. So maybe Eutyrenus we could throw in here. Let's make it a sandy environment, because that's literally the closest thing we have to snow on here. You know, because it's the tropical biome. All right, let's release our second to last dinosaur, the Cacarodontosaurus. Oh, I like the one with the green on top. This one's kind of a blank pattern. Did I put a feeder in? Yep, I did. All right, hold on. Let me just put the feeder a little bit closer to the to the viewing gallery. And then maybe we could put another viewing gallery in here. Just so we have two of them? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's patch these up. You'd think with a vending machine here that these would count as amenities. Alright, let's release the final dinosaur in this park for right now. Alright, people are lined up. So yeah, we certainly have enough space for the Ark Additions creatures if we so needed to put them in. But yeah, I will get to work on the amenities and with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.